games and all the experience you can do, but mistakes can be made. And these are the days that you can't afford to make too many. Grimes was put under pressure, but just got the pass away to Clements. Dallas has made the run over the top, and the flag has stayed down, and Slocum came out quickly, and he got a vital touch, but Dallas is there again. He's given a penalty. Penalty to Chesterfield. Notts County can't believe it. It's such a big early call, this, from Matt Corner. Less than five minutes gone. We spoke about the high line before the game. And that is the high line that they've capitalised on really, really well. It's a ball over the top. He gets a hand on it. Dallas tries to put it over him, but then it's a follow through afterwards that this is given for. It's a penalty. Yet to take one for them this season. Now he takes one in the promotion final. The chance to give the Spyrites the lead. Inside six minutes, Dallas for Chesterfields, and he scores! What a start for the Spyrites! A man on the losing side in last season's promotion final with Solihull. Scores the penalty that puts Chesterfield in front early doors at Wembley. Space out wide for Nemain. Langstaff waiting on the edge of the area. Namain goes on the outside. Austin's in there as well. It's a great cross! Oh, it just needed a touch. Brilliant run from Namain. Well, that's why he is so, so clinical. And these are the areas that Chesterfield certainly have to be aware of. It's Austin, isn't it, that makes a run across the near post. Just can't quite get the touch on it. Reacted well since conceding the goal, Notts County. Much more like it, isn't yeah. it, from the team who finished second this season. Again, the space is out wide for Nemain. He'll love playing on this pitch. Skips away from one challenge. And the ball in was good too. Perhaps he's heard better. Oldacre to Grimes. Clements. Dobra had made the run down the left. This is Rawlinson. Mandeville, he's got Dallas in the box. Colclough's arriving as well. Oh, brilliantly done by Mandeville. And they scramble it clear. Williams making the changes to try and affect things. In goes the free kick. Rawlinson was in there. What a chance. Big chance. He just makes a run off Grimes, doesn't he? He gets in front of it. Oh, so, so close. He thinks it in. Scored right at the end of normal time against Boreham Woods and then right at the end of extra time. Can they hit back here? Bostock swings it in! These two clubs with so much history, the world's oldest and fourth oldest professional clubs. Risk there by Slocum. So often they take these risks, Notts County. Their supporters must have their hearts in their mouths at times. 
Palmer. Couldn't squeeze it through to Nemain. Akinola. They've got a player over here, Dobra. He's been found as well. Quigley's in the middle. Dobra might go alone. He did! What a finish! Chesterfield regained the lead! Three minutes into extra time. It's a big kiss from his manager for Dobra. That was quality. Well, we certainly know of his attributes and his qualities, Amano Dobra. And this is what we want to concentrate on. This is what we want to see from a quality player. And they use the ball so well. They move it quickly. It's banks into him, and then all of a sudden you've got those one-on-one -on -one situations. I just think as a defender in Rawlinson, you have to go and try and stop that a little bit quicker. Because if you don't, magic, brilliance like this is there for all to see. Brilliant, brilliant goal there. Chesterfield's top scorer in all competitions this season. That's number 12, Palmer. Good run here by Langstaff. He's got him behind and he's put it wide. That's the chance he's waited all day for. He's been desperate for that chance, hasn't he? Jones. Away from Dobra. That was a tired looking challenge. Grimes with another header he's clean. Made three magnificent headers, Jamie Grimes, in terms of your positioning. Being ready for those crosses coming in. Rodriguez plays it through and Scott's in there. And so's Langstaff. Right at the end of the 90, Nemain, Palmer, so often Palmer unlocks the door, that's a good ball by Rodriguez, cleared by Palmer, will come straight back at the Spyrites, Cameron with the cross, and Langstaff was in there, and it's dropped kindly! Sometimes they are the ones you don't always hit the best at them, but somehow find the back of the net. We are going to see a change here. I suspected that might be the case. So this, with penalties in mind, Slocum, who made the error for the first goal for Chesterfield, is replaced here by Archie Mayer, who's played at under 21 level for Scotland. He's on loan from Norwich City. I remember he saved the penalty in a 2 0 win against Altrincham. The playoffs are as brutal as they are brilliant, and nothing underlines that, underscores that, than a penalty shootout to decide who plays in the EFL next season. The sub goalkeeper on Archie Mayer. Saved a penalty against Altrincham in the regular season. Banks, who came on as a sub for Chesterfield, to go first. Not County fans behind the goal where the penalties will be taken. It's going to be a really long run up this by Banks. And he scores emphatically. Chesterfield lead in the shootout. Perfect start. I'm always a big fan of going first in penalty shootouts. He's got a wonderful strike on him, Ollie Banks. Perfect start. 42 goals for Langstaff this season. None of them penalties. Hasn't taken one. Can he make it 1-1 in the shootout? The National League's top scorer and player of the year. Has to deliver now. Langstaff. What a relief.
release of emotion for him. Two good penalties. Both penalties with power, both penalties with precision. You wonder how he's going to go not being the penalty taker, but he did brilliantly. Should have taken more on that evidence. Oldacre goes next. Delaying tactics from Archie Mayer. Paul Cook, the Chesterfield manager, I'm being told, is not watching the penalty kicks. He's in the dressing room. He can't bear it. Oldacre. Saved! What a stop that was! Magnificent stop from Mayer, who gets the right way and got there. Well, the substitution has worked. And he's standing over that side a little bit already. But you have to say, it's a comfortable height for the goalkeeper. Big save. Rodriguez, the man who's goal, centres two penalties. Another really good penalty. Oh, this means so much. The keeper doesn't move. Oh, Mayer has been shown a yellow card here by the referee. It's trying the mind games. We've seen many goalkeepers do that in shootouts. Maguire, Chesterfield's current longest serving player, and he scored. How they needed that. Into the corner it went. Yeah, good penalty there from Lawrence Maguire. You kind of know that significance that you have to score the next one after missing one. Jody Jones. Super sub in the semi-final. A player who's been through so much due to injury. Can he keep up their 100% record in the shootout? A big deep breath for Jones. And into the corner. They're getting closer, not County. We'll have to say three excellent penalties from Notts County. And now the momentum is back with them. And now the pressure is on Jeff King. Well, Jeff King was really struggling, wasn't he? In extra time with Cramper, I presume it was. In the National League Team of the Year this season, he's been excellent. Can he convert here? saves and that one is the best one of the lot because he actually dives past it and ends up saving it with his foot well this means everything the photo of Jason Turner the chief exec who so sadly passed away just recently. They're ready to celebrate Not County. Is this their big moment? Bostock! No! What was he thinking? It is another wow moment in a season full of them, but that one for all the wrong reasons. Oh, I just do not believe what I have just seen there. I cannot believe you've got a kick to go back into the Football League and you go and do something like that. It gives Chesterfield hope. Quickly places with precision. Needs to score. Can there do it again? Quickly! Dumps it in. It's another match point coming though for Notts County. Yeah, well played there. Just now puts the pressure back on oh, to Scott. 
Adam, it's Scott who had his penalty saved by Ben Foster at the race course against Wrexham. It is a shot at redemption. Scott sends Notts County back to the Football League. He got his shot at redemption and he seized it with both hands. What a story. What a season. Football writes the most incredible scripts. is incredible you talk about the season as a whole the emotions of being a footballer of being a fan credit to both sides I have to say that, that they have given everything this season and it comes down to a penalty shootout and I will say this in fairness to him he's missed the penalty against Wrexham as you mentioned and he's come back to now these scenes, Kedwin Scott, by scoring the winning penalty. What an amazing end to a season, Adam. It really is. Luke Williams has done it at the first time of asking. Knocks once again the world's oldest football league club.